Abhinata Kumari and I am a physics teacher from class 7. So today we are uh, going to study chapter 15, light. So uh, what is light? Light is a form of energy which enables us to see. So there are some properties of light which we are going to study in this chapter. For example, the first one is light travels along a straight line. For this we have done an activity. We take a candle and we take a straight pipe and we see through the straight pipe. But we are unable to see the flame of the candle because uh, light uh, does not travel in uh, light does not travel in a curved path but light travels in a straight line the next thing is reflection of light now reflection of light is the bouncing back of light from a shiny surface now in this the light changes the direction as well for this again we have done an activity we take a compass we take a uh, laser light and we take a mirror we pass the laser light through the mirror and we can see that the light changes the direction as the light has changed the angle. So this shows us that light changes the direction when obstructed by any opaque object. Next is image formed by a plane mirror. Now when light strikes on plane mirror, it bounces back and there are certain characteristics of the image which is formed by a plane mirror. For example, the first one is the image is always erect. The second is, image is of same size as that of object. The third is, the image is at same distance as that from the mirror. And fourth one is, the image is virtual. And the fifth and the important one is, the image formed by a plane mirror is laterally inverted. Which means that the left appears right in the plane mirror and the right appears left. The next one is spherical mirrors. Now we have talked about plane mirrors. We are coming next to the spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors are the mirrors which are curved. And if the reflecting surface is inside, the spherical mirror is concave mirror. But if the reflecting surface is outside, the spherical mirror is a convex mirror. The example we see in daily life, for example, when we see a spoon, uh, a stainless steel spoon also acts like a mirror. The inner side acts like a concave mirror and the outer side acts like a convex mirror. Now the image formed by concave mirror, depending upon the distance, of object kept from the mirror, the image is either virtual or real. The image may be smaller or larger again depending upon the distance from the mirror. And the third characteristic of the image formed by concave mirror is the image may be inverted, uh, the image may, in, may be inverted or erect because again it depends upon the distance. This, uh, this is an, another activity which we do and which is given in the book also we take concave mirror and we place uh, the object at certain distance and then we uh, we see whether the image is smaller larger inverted erect or real or virtual we see that the object when placed very closer to the mirror is all it gives us always virtual image and always larger in size the next is uses of concave mirror. The concave mirror is used as reflectors in torches, headlights of cars and scooters. The concave mirrors are also used by dentists to see the enlarged image of the teeth. As the object is very closer to the mirror, therefore it is virtual image and very large. Third one is concave mirrors are used by doctors for examining eyes, ears, nose and throat. Now moving on to the next type of mirror which is convex mirror. The image formed by convex mirror is always virtual and the image is smaller in size than that of the object. Here the image is real and inverted. Uses of convex mirror is, convex mirror are used as uh, side mirrors in cars, scooters, etc. Convex mirror has a wider view uh, to help drivers to see traffic behind them. Therefore, the rear view of the mirror in, uh, in vehicles is always convex mirror. The next is lenses. Now lenses is not made up of mirror, lenses are always made up of glass. Now there are two types of lenses, one is concave lens and another is convex lens. If the, if the lens is thicker in the middle but thinner in the edges, that type of mirror, uh, that type of lens is known as convex lens. But if the lens is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edges, that type of lens is known as concave lens. A concave lens is thin in the middle as we, as we know and thick at the edges. And a convex lens always bends the light inwards. That is why it is also known as converging lens. And a concave lens always bends the light outwards. That is why it is always known as diverging lens. Now the characteristics of the image formed by convex lens and concave lens. The first characteristics by convex lens is the image formed by convex may be smaller or larger than the object. Second, the image may be real or virtual depending upon the object kept 
close either when it is kept close to the lens it is always virtual when kept very at very far distance it is real the third is image formed by concave lens the image formed by uh, uh, concave lens is always virtual and erect uh, uses of lenses lenses are used in spectacles microscopes telescopes cameras etc now last topic of our chapter is sunlight the sunlight is a white light which is made up of seven colors uh, and to, to know this we have done an activity we take a glass prism and we pass white light from the glass prism and we see when we pass white light from the glass prism the white light is scattered or split into seven colors which is also known as dispersion of light this is another phenomena uh, observed in case of light as the as uh, we have seen reflection is also one of the phenomena and the second phenomena is dispersion of light now we can see that we know that the white light is composed of seven colors therefore we do an activity we take a newton we, the activity name is known as newton disc we take a circular disc and we cover it with a white colored uh, white paper then we draw seven colors on the white paper and we rotate the disc when we rotate the disc which is composed of seven colors that is with your colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange red we see that when we rotate this disc the disc is appears to be white which tells us that the white light is composed of seven colors this was all about the chapter thank you and have a nice day